Well, what's the meaning of this headline? What kind of milk toast mishmash is this? Sir, it's the headline you told me to lead. No, the headline I told you to lead was the crash. It moves from Wall Street to Main Street. It's grim. It's gritty. It's baloney. What? Don't tell me it's baloney. I lost 2,500 simoleons in that crash. Yes, sir, and you are the only person in town who had money in the stocks. Most of the folks around here think that a stock market crash means the cows got loose. That ain't the point. The news, the news, it's gotta, it's gotta grab people. It's gotta get them all riled up. <laughs> We've gotta give them all the news, sir. Did you see how much good news is in here today? Here, look at this. I don't care who won the quilting bee or how big Farmer Brown's pumpkins are. This ain't a glad rag, Harry. You may be the editor of the Daily Herald, but you better remember who the owner is. I get out of my way. Hey, Josie, what's this headliner today? November 6th, 1929. Show's over for Hometown Star. Did somebody kick the bucket? No, Josie, no one died. This is just Mr. Flint's way of trying to sell more papers. You know, make it sound as bad as you can. My headline was going to say, Hometown Star Returns. You know, Mr. Harry, you're a swell guy and all, but there's just one thing you got to learn. You don't move with the baby grand. You just play it. at Bethlehem, USA. Please watch your step. We got you coming. 